In fact, just so your listeners have a sense, you know, a lot of people might know the BRCA gene is like the Angelina Jolie gene. And some people hear they have BRCA and they freak out. And, you know, there's definitely a higher incidence type of pattern. But what people don't understand is a BRCA mutation is just simply a mutation of how our body repairs our DNA. It doesn't repair it as well as the average show, but it impacts less than 5% of all breast cancer or, you know, other cancers in general. It's less than 5% of the population have that particular genetic hiccup. And the other side is that genetic hiccup has zero impact on the overall survival. And so people have this assumption that it's somehow way more dangerous and way more life-taking, and yet it isn't. And so this is one of those opportunities of where I start to teach and educate about my philosophical understanding is that there's a lot of things we can do to support our body's ability to protect and, and clean up its DNA you know, and support the repair, which you just alluded to. A lot of that comes from our dietary lifestyle choices and, you know, maybe not living right underneath a phone tower or walking through lots of, you know, going to have a lot, which ironically, those patients are also the ones told to have a mammogram every six months, despite the evidence saying, you know, this is a 